Morning everybody, Teacher Katie here from the Walla Walla YMCA. This morning I am going to read this book and it's called, Why Should I Listen? Because it's important to listen, boys and girls. That's how we learn and it keeps us safe. So let's find out a little bit more why it's important to listen. I can hear wonderful things when I really listen. A beautiful songbird, do you see? So he's really listening and he can hear that songbird. A grasshopper on the lawn. Or the crunch of freshly fallen snow. So if he's really listening, these are some of the things he can hear. But sometimes I find it hard to listen. It's often when I'm really busy, like watching TV. So look, his mum's saying, could you please answer the door? So someone's at the door and you can see his, his mum has been obviously in the shower, but he's not listening. He's too engaged in the TV, not listening. So that doesn't help his mummy. Playing with friends. Let the dog in, Joe. So look, if you look closely, the dog's barking at the door. And, the, and up here, look, shouting, please let the dog in, let Joe in. Diving for sunken treasure. Joe, come out of the bath now. He's not listening. He's too busy doing his own thing. Not paying attention. Or flying a rocket to the moon. Are you joining us for gym, Joe? So here he's at school and he's not listening. He's too busy using his imagination and off somewhere else. Not joining gym class with his friends. Some people ask, why should I listen? Well, not listening can get you into lots of trouble. What do you think happened when I went to the museum and I didn't listen to my teacher. So let's look closely here. The teacher's saying, everyone back here at 3 p.m. please. So he's telling everybody they can go off, but they must be back by three o'clock. The students here are listening, but he is not, he's messing about. So he has not heard that important instruction about meeting back here at three o'clock. So now he doesn't know that. I wonder what happened. Help. Where is everybody? So because he didn't hear that instruction, he's come back. It's later in the day and everybody left. And now he's alone and he's feeling kind of scared. If he'd have listened, he'd have been back when he was supposed to be. And what do you think happened at Isabel's party? Because I didn't hear a word she said. So let's look closely at this one. Let's see what the friends are saying. We're all going to the pool. Remember to bring your bathing suit so everybody's listening. Now they know that at Isabel's party, they're going to be going swimming and they need to bring their bathing suit. Uh-oh. Here he is over here. He's too busy watching what's happening over here, not listening about the birthday party. So will he know that they're going swimming and be, have to bring a bathing suit? Probably not. He gets there, does not have a bathing suit, so someone says, luckily we have a spare bathing suit. But if you look, it's too big for him. Let's see what his friends say when they see him in that. And just the right size too. Do you need some string, Joe? Wow. So you can see he's not very happy because they don't fit him. If he'd have listened, he would have bought his own bathing suit and they wouldn't be laughing at him. And guess what happened to my sister last summer when I didn't listen to my mom? Watch Laura for me, please. So here he is. Here's his little sister. And his mom's saying, watch Laura for me, please. He's over here, not listening to his mom. And that's really important asking him to take care of the little sister while she just nips off for a second. Joe, look at Laura. 
So now it's telling us a bit more about the story. It looks like the mom had gone off to get them all ice cream. So she was getting something for both of the children. She'd asked him to watch the sister. He didn't. Oh, and now she's all buried in the sand. Poor thing. Is that better, darling? Now he's mad, look. Because he didn't listen. Mom's not giving him an ice cream. It's his consequence. I hate it when people don't listen to me. It makes me feel lonely. Can I have a turn? So now he's realizing how it feels if people don't listen to him. They're busy with the TV, not listening, so he doesn't get a turn. And it makes me feel invisible. This lady here says, six frosted donuts, please. And he's kind of pushed him out the way. Excuse me, but she's not listening or paying attention. So he kind of got pushed it out of the way. So he feels invisible. <gasps> Doesn't make him feel good. It's as if nobody thinks about me. I told them the concert finished at 3 p.m. So he's saying he told them that. And now he's sitting and no one's there to collect him. Or nobody seems interested in my life. I had a terrible day today. Oh, did you, dear? So she's not really listening to him. Look, he's sad. But she's busy with something else, not listening. <gasps> Look how it makes him feel. He's understanding how hard it can be if people don't listen. So now I've decided when someone is talking, I'm going to try very hard to listen. Who can bring something for the nature table? Oh, he's got his hand up. He's listening. He wants to bring something for the nature table. How fun. I'm glad he was listening and heard that. <gasps> Great, Joe. Thank you. It means that I usually get things right if I'm listening and pick up the things that I need to hear. Watch the wet paint, Joe. Oh, so that's an important thing to know. You need your gym shoes tomorrow. He's got them ready. Don't let the cat out, Joe. He's closing the door quick. Buy yourself some ice cream. Here's the money. Yes, Mom. So because he listened, he learned all those important things. He needed to know those things. <gasps> and a really fun thing down here, because he was listening, <gasps> he got an ice cream treat. So that's really important, boys and girls. That's the end of our book about why should I listen? That was a good lesson to learn. It's always important to be keeping your ears open and listening and paying attention so that you don't feel lonely or feel sad when people don't listen to you. If you listen to them, they will listen to you and you could learn all sorts of things. And most importantly, you will be kept safe. So remember this special book, Why Should I Listen? I'll see everybody later. Bye.